Welcome back to the Literature Teacher YouTube channel. Dear children, today also we are going to analyze another nature poem. What is it? Do you know what it is? To the Nile by John Keats. Dear children, I heard that most of you are having such kind of a feeling, such kind of a negative feeling regarding to the Nile. So it's difficult, it's somewhat difficult to understand likewise. No dear children, it's a very interesting poem, right? Okay, shall we have a look on the poem? And before that, we are going to discuss about the river Nile, okay? As we all know, what is this river Nile? Hmm? Loki Digamaganga, the largest and the lengthiest uh, river in the world, right? Yes. So it is about a total length 6,650 kilometers, the longest river in Africa, and it has historically been considered the longest river in the world, right? The northern section of the river flows north almost entirely through the uh, Sudanese desert to Egypt where Cairo is located on its large delta and the river flows into the Mediterranean Sea at Alexandria. Right. Pute api ganga kiwama, river eka kiwahama, make it in a vadagat kama api dannava, godak teena. The uses of rivers, if we are talking about uses of rivers, you know dear children, it's vast. It's a source of water. It's a source of energy. It is full of life, right? So as we are, as, as Sri Lankans, we are very much lucky enough to have such kind of water resources everywhere. So we don't find it's amazing or such kind of reverence, right? Api teka loku de aknave pute api belu belu ata kohe giat ganga wa kalak dolak vavak kadumatarame. Really? Yes, we are blessed with such kind of a natural resource. But remember, dear children, to Africa, this Nile is the only source of water. You know about, you have heard and you have learnt about the Nile Valley civilization and all. And it is here also said that this, the longest river Nile flows th almost, flows through almost deserts. So, Hitala Balana Darwane, Kantara Pasapimaka Jeevatvena Minnesota, only source, that is the only source, the river Nile is the only source of water. Right? Eka Nile lekata tiyan eka Nile ganga wa tamai pute me mene sunge hama dema. So you know the uh, Nile Valley civilization started based on the river Nile. Teru nane the henang daru ane river Nile leka kiya la kiya ane mene sunge jiva naaliya in Africa and Egypt. Right? Okay. Can you see the picture, dear children? So that is uh, depicted an ancient past. You see what they are doing based on the river Nile? Number of things, right? So the main source of water and the main source of living was the river Nile for these people. So these tribal people, right? You can see that they are doing fishing, right? And uh, they are doing farming alongside the beach and all. Ganga wa jale sape no avitara da daruane. Ne? Jeevika wa fishing venda polo farming venda polo Right? Ane me ganga wa depasa pute hama auruddha kama ektara kaalayaka 
overflowing, flooding, right? But these people are toiling hard with the earth and uh, water to fertile and uh, bring prosperity to the country, right? While they are making a living, so they are toiling hard to bring prosperity to the country, right? Ratata Sasre Katre again, Kodak Minisu, Utsa Kala from the beginning of the Nile Valley civilization, right? Not only these things, dear children, this river beautifies the nature. Penavane, it makes a number of cascades and waterfalls and all, right? It, uh, it gives a or else it adds beauty to the nature. It uh, creates number of attractions towards this uh, Nile, right? Me pay na wani Ganga, Aladola, ne the Gala, Basina kotha Puduma kara sundara darshana mave na wa. The alley ne the hamade ma waterfalls like. So those have become the major attractions of the river Nile, right? Apni balam apote sasri kate fertility. But the small scales of land areas, so but they were fertile because of the sediment of the river Nile. Sediment But all these agricultural areas, dear children, are destroyed most of the time by the floods. Have by the Ruane. A cocher of in a sauna, a ituruela and a vaturatica behalagiham, ituru and a sediment taking, sill taking, tamai putte, ilanga cane vagavata last even. So they did not and they do not curse the river Nile because they know that it was the only source of water that is the main living of themselves. Right? Api jeevan ali a kian nekai. Right? And uh, it is said that papyrus reeds, you can see in the picture, dear children, papyrus reeds were grown alongside the river Nile. Gangava de Pasame, papyrus reeds, panvargeak, vaunalo. What is the use of this papyrus reeds? So they, it is said that they were um, used to make boats, papyrus boats, hedua. So, that is the only source of transportation since ancient times, dear children. Ara sura papa ke kato ne ke hema te na wane ne the me Nile Ganga vaharaha pyramids hada na bricks had de ko hama da ke ala ne the oh e okko ma kalle pute transportation Nile Ganga haraha yoda gatte on noya papyrus boards. Eva game tamai it is said that uh, dear children, uh, uh, paper is made out of papyrus. Read. So, it is a source of transform transportation, it's a source of living, it's a source of water, right? Okay, so those are the um, uses that gives the Nile as other rivers. Okay, now shall we have a look on the poem? Yes, to the Nile by John Keats, to the Nile. Only three words are there. Right, two starts with a capital letter Nile, as usual, a proper noun. It is started with a capital letter. The middle article is the only uh, simple, I mean, it is the only word that started with a simple letter. Right, John Keats, no problem. You know the spellings and it's not difficult. Okay, shall we read the poem? Son of the old moon, mountains African, chief of the pyramid and crocodile, we call thee fruitful, and that very while a desert fills our seeing's inward span. Nurse of sort nations since the world began, art thou so fruitful, or dost thou beguile such men to honour thee? Who worn with toil, rest for a space twixt Cairo and Deccan. Right? Oh, may dark fancies, uh, they surely do. 
tis ignorance that makes a barren waste. Of all beyond itself thou dost be dew green rushes like our rivers and dost taste the pleasant sunrise. Green isles hast thou too and to the sea as happily dost haste. So that is the poem. Dear children, you may have found somewhat difficult words in it in the poem. So I think that is why mainly because uh, mainly you are saying that it is difficult. No dear children, uh, those are old English words. We say it archaic language, right? So why are you so scared about the poem, right? No. Dear children, there is another aspect we have to talk regarding the poem, right? What is a sonnet? Pute api make a sonnet teka kela varga karano. So sonnet is also a kind of poem, right? Poem make a varga ya, sonnets kela kiyane. You know the best examples are the Shakespearean sonnets, right? In English literature, we have three types of sonnets, Petrarchan sonnets, Shakespearean sonnets and Spenserian sonnets, right? Spenserian sonnets are not that much popular like Shakespearean sonnets and Petrarchan sonnets, right? Uh, Shakespeare is considered as the father of these kind of sonnets because he has written 154 sonnets throughout the lifetime, okay? But this poem, right? This poem to the Nile by John Keats is considered as a Petrarchan sonnet. Put a question neka kehuot. Sonnet take a features mono other. Can the poem to the Nile be categorized under the uh, categorized under the Petrarchan sonnet or whatever? You need to know about the features. Okay, what is a sonnet? Sonnet take a kya ne mokad the kela pi balamu? A sonnet is a 14 lined poem which consists of different distinctive features. Put a poem make a sonnet take up when the nang tien donor lines da hatarai. At least 14 lines must be there. Right? I have mentioned here there are three types of sonnets, no problem. Okay, let's discuss what are the features of a Petrarchan sonnets. Right, Petrarchan sonnet teka varge ta tamai daruane. Ape to the Nile poem meka categorize karana polova. Inang api balamu Petrarchan sonnet teka tena features mono other. Okay, number one, you know that it consists of 14 lines. Lines da hatarak king saman vitai. No problem, you can count down the poem and see whether it has 14 lines. Right. Written in iambic pentameter, put a make a meter kela kiyanet, rhythm meka tiyanna puluang, technique keka. I'm not go on describing what meter is, api put a tale tiyanne, song eka kiyana kota tiyana wane, anna e stress saha unstressed syllables eka in a pattern eka tamai put a api iambic pentameter kela kiyanne, right? Penta kela kene pahak or the stress and stress syllables eka kadene matakati aganda. Petrarchan sonnets are written in iambic pentameter. Right? Eka technique eka vidheta matakati aganda. Ogolo Petrarchan sonnet eka livat. Mama livat. I have to follow that meat. Right? Okay, number three. Deals with universal themes like love, hatred, and jealousy. Kute universal themes kya ne mona wada loke chama podoi. Eka me eka region ne eka teka patta ka teka palata ka teka district ke ka tane vei. Me poem sani kya ve na themes pute mulu loke chama podoi. You see that love, hatred, jealousy. So me wa kaat ap podo gunangya. So normally in a Petrarchan sonnets. Uh, the themes are woven around a universal theme. Here also the same, right? Number four, consists of poetic devices like similes, metaphors, paradoxes. You can see, dear children, to the Nile is consists of a number of 
devices, especially there are a number of metaphors, similes, paradoxes, personification, whatever. Right. Structure of the sonnet, Pute make a hari vadagat. This is a very important feature of a sonnet. I mean the Petrarchan sonnet. Make a structure, Pute, physical structure, make a kotas deka katabe denawal. Right. First eight lines of the out of 14, it is called as octave, palaveni atata, palaveni lines at a tapiki and octave kela. Ilanga lines higher tapiki and a sestet. What is it? Octave and sestet. Atai, high eye, palaveni atta, octave, the last six, sestet. At the kota atai, high eye, the atarai, 14 lines are oki. Then may octave wake at a sestet take at a vena vena makria one te no darwane. Right? Octave represents a problem, an issue or a doubt. Palavini line setting, mono mahari, problem meka ganai kata karane. Even at the right again, hite ati vechi doubt teka, cast teka, da cast karane. Right? Hite the in a mokakari problem meka tamaya pit introduce karane. Sestate teke mokada karane pute. Sestate answers it or presents a solution. Ara ati karapu eyama introduce karapu question, a kemanatam problem, a kemanatam issue eka, a hemanatam eaga hite iti bila diripat karapu saka, a doubt eka, amasana lines hang eyama solve karano. A hemanatam muling sestate teke the raise karapu questions, well, at eyama denawa answers. So that is the uh, duty of a sestet in a Petrarch and sonnet. Right? What is it, dear children? Shall we have a look back? No. Octave, okay? Octave. Kela kyanne, octave ekin karanne. Mukak mahari theme kata da alava question neka raise karaneka. Sestet ekin karanne. He gives the solution for it. Right? Okay. Metanadi. Uh, sestet teke in the la, sorry, octave wiki in the la sestet teke teno kota pute. Put a mood change a kakwino. Right? Mood deka podak vena so on a shift vena che mood deka tapute. Mood change a katapi may between octave and sestet. We call it as volta. Prashnea idri pat karala. Prashnea kala put a prashnea kati karala. Aking a kamakne kela. Api solution na hima the kela solution neka katena kota. Api the pain of podi mood deke change and change a kakteno. Anna mood change a kata petrakan sonat teka the apikena pute vault a kakela. You can see all these features in the poem. Right? There is a richy driving scheme on octave. Pute api liwat. Octave ke the end on A B B A A B B A rhyming scheme eka. Right? Let's see. Have I sestet take a tena kote? Rhyming scheme must be very. Samahara vita C D E C D E when that pulwa. Samahara vita samahan no rhyming at all when that pulwa. No problem. Hari the eka gana echera salaki lak na rhyming scheme eka bagana. But you have a rigid rhyming scheme in the octave. Octave ke pute daddy rigid rhyming scheme ka teno. So those are there are eight here, right? Me attack teno api discuss karapu main features kela. So if you are given a question like that, you can elaborate these sonnets. Sorry, these features in a sonnet, and you can have examples to prove. Okay. Let's analyze line by line. Okay. Son of the old moon mountains African. Son of the old moon mountains African. You are the sun. Oba tamai putra kage the moon mountains. Put the moon mountains kela kiane ruins or mountains in East Africa. That is a legendary mountain. Api podak mountain neka balamu slides wala di. So this is the Ruenzori mountain because of its height and in legends also it is called Moon Mountain. Moon Mountain kela tamai putte oye katha wala handun van ne hari da. Eta kote eke atthama nama mountain range eka Ruenzori, right? 
ఓకే అప్పి బలము లైన్ ఎక్కే మొనవాద కేలా తీయన్న కేలా ఆన్ ద సన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఆల్ ది మూన్ మౌంటెన్స్ ఆఫ్రికన్ దెన్ ఆన్ ద మూన్ మౌంటెన్స్ గన ప్రశ్నయక్ నే హబై ఎతన అపిట టెక్నిక్ ఎకక్ పేనవ మూన్ మౌంటెన్స్ మ సౌండ్ ఎక ఎహమ నేద వాట్ ఇస్ ఇట్ when the sound repeats it becomes an alliteration you are the sun oya tamai me kandu pantiye putre ame patan ganne me kandu pantiye paamula lake ekak kin kiyala tamai sandahan wenne ehena oba tamai me kandu pantiye putreya that is a metaphor neda e wagema tamai put it's a personification so you can see dear children the poet is addressing the river అప్పి పోతే యమాక్ అడ్రస్ కరల ఇన్ అనిమేట్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఎకక్ వెన్న పొలువాంగ్ అనిమల్ కెనెక్ వెన్న పొలువాంగ్ ఆబ్ ఏ కెనెకుట అడ్రస్ కరల అపి కథా కరన కొట్ట పోతే అపి కియనో ఏ వగే కవి ఓడ్స్ కియలత్ అపిట హందున్ వండ పొలువాంగ్ సా ఓడ్ దేక ఫీచర్స్ ఉత్ తియనో కియనే జాన్ కీట్స్ బోమ్ ప్రసిద్ధ అయినే ఓడ్స్ లే అన్న రైట్ తియనో కియలా కియన్న పొలువాంగ్ ఏ వగేమ తమై పోతే మెటాఫర్ అండ్ డైటిఫికేషన్ వై డైటిఫికేషన్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో అ టెక్నిక్ harida personification ki anne mokakda what is it what what do you mean by personification that means attributing human qualities to non animate objects or oh, animals ehemane manussege tiyena qualities had ekathu karanawa nan thamai ne daruwane api personification kiwe right namuth pute divine qualities attribute karanawa nan right డివైన్ క్వాలిటీస్ అట్రిబ్యూట్ కరనవా నా అపి ఏకట కియనవా టెక్నిక్ ఆఫ్ డైటిఫికేషన్ దెన్ కందు పంతియే పుత్రయా కివ్వహమ పుత్రయా కియన తన పర్సోనిఫికేషన్ నమూత్ కందక పుత్రేక్ వెన్న కొహమద సో దట్ ఈస్ దట్ అబిలిటీ ఈస్ బియాండ్ ద లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్స్ ది చిల్డ్రన్ సో దట్ ఈస్ బికమ్ అ డైటిఫికేషన్ దే అగ్రీ ఓకే Let's move into the second line, dear children. Chief of the pyramid and crocodile. Chief, Chief Pradhaniya. Obba Thamai Pradhaniya. Kaagitha. Pyramids and crocodile. Shall we have a look on pyramids? Egypt pyramids. Right. May put it. Egypt to Kena Racha. Loke Pura Prasiddha Monavata Thakke Lahuot. Edeka Thamai Va Lines. Line Ke Dela Thene. Pyramids of Egypt. ఆర్ ఆ వాస్ట్ క్రియేషన్స్ పోతే గ్రేట్ క్రియేషన్ ఆఫ్ పిరమిడ్స్ కోహమద దారు అనే మే మినిసున్ ఓయ పిరమిడ్స్ నిర్మాణే కలే ఇత ఏత అతీతే తవత్ అవృదు మిలియన గణన కటపాసేత్ నొనాసి ఎకలేస పవతిండ సో హౌ డిడ్ దే డూ దే ఆర్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ రివర్ నైన్ దాట్స్ వై పోతే మే పిరమిడ్ హదండ బేసిక్ గ్రౌండ్ ఎక్క సపేలా దున్నే నైల్ మేకట అద్దాలు ఆ రొగులాంగి కాటూన్ ఎక్కి తీయన్నే అర అనేది అర లొకు విశాల బ్రిక్స్ ఏం అరగనావే ట్రా మే నవ్ మార్గ బోటు వస్తేనే సో దట్ నైల్ వాస్ ద బేసిక్ గ్రౌండ్ సప్ విచ్ సపోర్టెడ్ టు బిల్డ్ అప్ దీస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాసివ్ క్రియేషన్స్ ఇన్ ఈజిప్ట్ రైట్ ఏనా ఈజిప్ట్ వే పిరమిడ్స్ చీఫ్ ఆఫ్ పిరమిడ్స్ and crocodile shall we have a look on crocodiles nile crocodiles my goodness ogolo danno ad the nile crocodiles are considered as the second largest right second largest surviving freshwater reptiles in the world loke sitina deveniyata vishalama danatath jeevat wena miridiya me crocodiles la vidiyata thamai salakanne etokota ఈజిప్తు మొనవాట అద ప్రసిద్ధ అద ఈట వడా దేవాల్ తీయన బావ ఎత్త పుతే నమూత్ మే కయుగయ తుల ఈజిప్ట్ కియన రట లోకే పురా ప్రసిద్ధ ఉన్న ఐకన్స్ దెకాక్ తమై మే పిరమిడ్స్ అండ్ క్రొకడైల్ ఎతకట ఒగలో దన్నవా క్రొకడైల్స్ అట జీవత్తు క్రొకడైల్స్ అట జీవత్తునే కొహెదల రివర్ నైన్ వల ఎతకట పిరమిడ్స్ హదన్న ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ మే హెమదేమ మినిసున్ బాడు సీలు దే ప్రవాహనే ముక్కలే కొహమద అండ్ వాట మే వక్కమ సప్లిమెంట్స్ కలే count the who has done everything the river nile so that's why although it is hyperbolic hyperbolic right i mean chief of the pyramid chief kiyana kithin hyperbolic ekak 
see all over see the see and anyway but it is exaggeratively or oh, hyperbolically said chief of the pyramid and crocodile it refers to the dominating power of the nile rati hamadeta ma dominant vela thiyenne ganga river nile like in a way that's fair it's not unfair the children so it refers to the living and non living things which make the country unique and great in the world pyramids crocodile then briefly explain this line kela oy line ekak dunnoth puluwan neda daruwane explain karaganna right this country egypt or oh, africa is world famous because of these two icons i mean pyramids and the crocodile so both for both of these icons the nile has provided the base right okay i hope you have got these two lines properly okay we call the fruitful what do you mean by fruitful that is useful we call the useful the in the sense dear children you archaic okay, language checking all the english spelling the kela kiyana you we call the fruitful api obata kiyana oba hari ma useful kiyala attaram pute gangavakata vanda namaskar කරන එකත් ඒ මිනිස්සු ඒ කාලේ කරන අපි ඩෝන we know that uh, in our ancient past also we have revered we have revered uh, the natural things gas gal pawa apith vandana mana karane adat api pilime walata wandi nadda daruwane right api adat gas walata wandi nadda why not the bow trees and all and the statues we have in uh, uh, we have sculpted according to their figures of the law i mean the religious leaders why not right so natural phenomenon so that pute me minisu puduma gaurava kala especially this river nile it was highly respected and revered and considered as a sacred object because for the life of this innocent tribal people the nile was the basic right ගංග නැත්තම් මිනිස්සු නෑ ගංග නැත්තම් රටක් නෑ අප්‍රිකාවක් නෑ so හැමෝම සීයක් මිනිසුන් ගත්තොත් හැමෝම ගඟට ආවඩනවා praising right කවදාවත් නරක දෙයක් කියන්නේ නෑ we call the fruitful of course yes ඔබ අපිට ප්‍රයෝජනයි useful ගොඩාක් and that very while a desert feels our sings inward span මොකද්ද කියන්නේ අන්න is casting a doubt according to the feature of a sonnet petrakan sonnet ekak feature ekak kiwa puthe octave ekak edi palaweni lines ate edi writer ge hite thiyena sakayak idiri pat karana prashnaya mokadda prashne oya ata api kiyenawa we call the fruitful oya hari useful ekak hari piligannwa rata minisu goda nagune metak durata aave oba nisa it's okay ha ba ithin me katha karana me welawe apita penawa ne oya wedi pura galanawa ne oyage kotasen දුර ප්‍රමාණයෙන් වැඩි හරියක් වා ගලන්නේ කාන්තාරයක් හරහනේ. ඔව් ඔච්චර useful නා. right if you are so much useful so why couldn't why couldn't you fertile that desert කියලා අහනවා. ඇයි ඔයාට desert එක fertile කරන්න බැරි වුනේ? සාධාරණ සැකයක් නේද? right of course yes. ඔබට පුළුවන් නම් රටක් ගොඩනගන්න රටක් world famous කරන්න creations නිර්මාණය කරන්න ඇයි ඔබට බැරි වුනේ කාන්තාරය සරු බවට පත් කරන්න so that fruitfulness and barrenness is contrasted here dear children it is taken as a technique fruitfulness කියන්නේ usefulness that means the prosperity and desert එක කියලා කියන්නේ අපි දන්නවා only a sandy desert it's not fertile like a fertile ne gaha kolak wawenne ne hari detokota oyata me api katha karana me oyage aarambhe indala den avurudu ganana wa daha dahas ganana wa miliyana ganana kavilla ada tatwa oyage wedi hari ak wa galang enne kaantare haraha do we call river nile fruitful useful it is not be able to fertile the desert area yet tamat be ඉතින් වා වා අතර වා ඔය කියන තරම්ම useful ද කියලා අහනවා okay next line nurse of swat nation since the world began එතකොට මිනිස්සු කියන්නේ nurse කරනවා කියන්නේ පුතේ පෝෂණය කරනවා that means feeding 
swart nations in the sense the dark skinned people you know that americans black, sorry black africans right dark skinned people they were fed by you ara kalu jatika kalu hamak tiyena gotrika janathawata kanda bonda siyalo de sapayana pradana prabhave une oba ehema nisa thamai minisu garak garu karanne since the world began that refers to the beginning of the nile valley civilization ehemai art thou so fruitful kela question ekak anoy thin ehema salaka noya attata moya kiyana tharam useful kenakta fruitful da ehema nang ithin wata puluwan wenne paaya ara desert area eka saru karan enda avurudu miliyana gananak tisse ganga galanawa nan how can that be a desert yet api danno apute ada wenakota biological factors only palayak muladinda it's not only the water you know it should be the soil range and the um, sunshine whatever danno ara mitak gattahama ituru wen nathuwa bimata halena nisaru wali kataraka koheda daruwane palayak enne namuth meka question karanawa me poyat mokad the question eka to oya mechchara den minisu siyaka gen ahuwot pute wachanayak wat nail gangawata viruddhawa kiyanne they are only praising වර්ණනාව පමණයි එහෙනම් ඇයි බැරි වුනේ කියලා අහනවා ඔයා ඔය කියන තරම් ඔයා ඔය ක්ලේම් කරන තරම් යුස්ෆුල් ද ඔව් ඩස් දෝ ඩස් දෝ බිගයිල් ඩස් මීන්ස් ඩස් පුතේ බිගයිල් මීන්ස් එන්චාන්ටි එහෙම නැත්නම් ඔයා වශී කරගෙනද විත් දැට් රටොරිකල් ක්වෙස්චන් ආර් දෝ සෝ ෆෘට්ෆුල් ද රයිටර් ඔර ද පොයට් proves the feature of the sonnet i mean ara doubt ekak cast karanawa kiyana feature ekaya oppu karala iwarai art thou so fruitful so poet questions the uh, fruitfulness of the river and he casts doubts on the usefulness of the river ehema natta o dos thou bikail let's see what is said in the next line such men to honor the ehema natta oya ඒ මිනිසුම වශී කරගෙන තියෙන්නේ මොනවටද සච් මෙන් ටු ඕනර් දි who worn with toil rest for a space twixt cairo and decan cairo ඉඳලා decan දක්වා දුවන මාර්ගය තුල මේ ඔයාගේ වතුරත් එක්ක ඔට්ටු වෙලා ජීවිතේ පුද්ගුම දුකක් විඳපු වතුර ටිකක් ඈතට අරගෙන යන්න සටනක් කරපු මිනිසුම් ඔයා වශී කරගෙන තියෙන්නේ ඔයා එච්චර හොඳ නැහැ හොඳ නම් desert එක සරු කරන්න එපැයි so that is his question Here you can see, dear children, as one answer is there, honor, on, toil, right? Oh, sound is repeated. Twixt kya la kya na between, Cairo and Deccan in a mini sogo awashi karagin inne. Harid, auruddha kata vata wa ganga gala la flood ve noa jeevita haani mini sunga bili ga noa samahara kaala wal wal tuata seema wa time limit teka na wa age overflowing, right? neda uh, we know that it's those things raining and everything are natural phenomenons it is not scheduled as according to a strict date and time neda ehema wenakota if it is so so the the harvest of the people will be destroyed by you a number of lives of humans and animals also destroyed by your floods and all so are you such a useful person or a thing as you claimed wa ichara fruitful da kiyala hana wa ichara useful da oy kiyana taran hondai dane that is the simplest meaning of the question so that is the end of the octave line sata ivarai octave ek ivarai dan puluwanda daruwane ogolan prove karanna features of the octave monada octave ek kiyanne right can you see the a b b a rhyming scheme dear children of course yes you can find whether it is there it is there yes now we are going or oh, moving to the sestet antima line say oh me dark fancies uh, uh means there are wrong em nathang e arachara avega shiliva need the bomb tensely i thou so fruitful oh dost thou big guy such men to honor thee why it's useful that 
එහෙම නැත්තම් ඔයා ওই මිනිසුන් වශී කරගෙන ඉන්න කියලා කියපු පුද්ගලයාමෝ කියනවා පුතේ ඔව් මේ ඩාග් ෆැන්සිස් ඒවා එහෙම නම් සමහර විට නරක කාලෙට කියපු නරක කතා වෙන්න ඇති ඔව් වැරදි වෙන්න ඇති can you see the shift of the mood mood එක change වෙනවා ඒවා ඉතින් ඔය නරක කතා වෙන්න ඇති මේද mood එක change වෙනවා පුතේ what is the word that we call it මොකද අපි කියපු මේ mood change එක that is volta අපි බලමු they surely do ඔව් ඔව් ඔයා ගැන කි මිනිස්සු ඔය නරක මිනිස්සු කියපු නරක කතා වෙන්න ඇති this ignorance that makes a barren waste ignorance කියලා කියන්නේ මෝඩ කම එහෙම නැත්තම් lack of knowledge දරුවනේ හරියට නොදැන කතා කිරීමත් නිසරු දෙයක් නේ barren waste infertile it is infertile මිනිස්සු එහෙම තමයි නරක මිනිස්සු දරාගෙන ඉන්න බැරි මිනිස්සු නේද කතන්දර හදනවනේ ෂුවර් එකටම ඔය කියන කතත් නරක කතා වෙන්න ඇති අපිට එහෙම බැහැර කරන්න පුළුවන් කොහොමද අච්චර ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නයක් අහලා ලොකු ප්‍රොබ්ලම් එකක් ලයින් සටක ඇති කරපු මිනිස්සයා 9 10 11 යනකොට හරි හරි ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ ඒක ඔය නරක මිනිස්සුන්ගේ කතාවක් කියලා යාම ෂේප් වෙනවා so that is the purpose of the cestet he gives he, re, he resolves the problem okay next line of all beyond itself what thou dost be div hari hari oy okoma pattakata damma toya monawada karanne do thou you dost be div dost means does be div kiyala kiyanne puthe wet karanawa e kiyanne jala supply karana water supplying method ekak මොනව ද ග්‍රීන් රෂස් ලයික් කව් රිවර්ස් අතු ගංගා කීයක් ඔබ විසින් පෝෂණය කරනවද දැන් අර නරක කතා මේ පොඩි හින්ට් එකක් ගහපු ඒවා ඒවා ඔක්කොම ඉවරයිනේ දැන් එයාම කියනවා නෑ නෑ ඒවා එහෙම තමයි ඒවා ඉතින් ඔය නරක කාලෙට කියන මිනිස්සු කියන කතා කියලා එයා දැන් නව් හි ඉස් ගෝයින් ඔන් ප්‍රේසින් ද රිවර් නයිල් රයිට් හි ටොක්ස් අබවුට් වට් හි ටොක්ස් අබවුට් ද uses of river nile mona what the uses thou dost be deep green rushes like our rivers ape ganga wal me rata madata gala gena yana ganga wal atu ganga tributaries ki yak nan oba poshane karanawada right and dust oglan peena pute green ilanga line ekith thenawa it is a repetition right that means it ara desert ekata saapekshawa pute desert ek we know that we can't see we can see only a rare plant neither palm tree ekak wage rare plant ekak thamai apata dakinna puluwang wenne etokota thani karama yellowish sandy desert we can see there here the poet repeats the word green in order to show the uses of the river nile green rushes like our rivers you can see there it is a simile and does taste what so now here on words the poet goes on praising the river nile the pleasant sunrise taste putte taste karanna puluwang lu sundara ira pahina nagina darshana monna taram nam picturesque sceneries vichitra darshana ganga king mavenawada daruwane so there you can see it's a uh, visual images and also a gustatory images taste does taste the pleasant sunrise and green niles that hast thou to e vitarak nevei oba kiyak nan punchi punchi dupat poshanaya karanawada and to the sea as happily does taste to the sea boma satutin me okoma karyan tika nima karagena oba sundara darshana mavamin අතු ගංගා පෝෂණය කරමින් දෙපස මිනිසුන්ට මොනවද the the feeding all the people and humans and the animals alongside the river banks and doing transport supporting the transportation and building sites and everything and you at last flows down to the sea happily puthe etana api inversion technique ekak use karala thiyena poyat what is it inversion changing the word order and to the sea happily dost haste kiyana ekka hadenna ona hari nan and thou dost haste to the sea happily happily right satuting 
गला बसी नवा एक अ पोटक वर्ड ऑर्डर एक अ चेंज करा सो यू नो दैट दे आर दैट इज दे पोइटिक लाइसेंस राइट वी कॉल इट टेक्निक्स इन्वर्शन राइट आवश्यक है ये प्रश्न या कहते कर अपोपोत गलाया मा मे पे न वाने मोना वाद ग्रीन नाइल्स पुंछ पुंछ दुपत समूह यंग नाइल गंगा व विसिन पोषण ये करने pleasant sunrise can you see the beauty of these pictures dear children one taram picturesque the swabada hame nirmana right so that is the poem is it difficult no i don't think so right i i i think that you may find it easy hereafter okay shall we discuss the themes dear children Okay, you know it's categorized under the main theme nature, as usual, and the sub theme, what the power and capacity of the river Nile as a part of nature. So, ba da hami kota sakbi dihte. Me na Ganga thati bichi power ek and capacity, right? Okay, these are the techniques: personification, deification, metaphor. O thana liyala nathi evad godakta vayati pute. metaphor alliteration hyperbole contrast rhetorical question assonance simile inversion visual images gastrotry images a lot that is up to you to add some more okay shall we discuss past paper questions okay extraction son of the old moon mountains african chief of the pyramid and crocodile from where are these lines taken who wrote them i have told you several times from my previous videos how to write this answer okay to the nile capitalization spellings spacing punctuation if there is any you have to be alert on everything and also the spellings for the spellings and capitalization of the writer's name to the nile by john keats no worries B name the techniques used in the first line oh first line we have number of techniques neda api balama monawada live wa liyanna puluwan kiyala right personification deification metaphor of course yes neda okay that is easy see how does the poet consider nile according to the lines given dear children i have told you earlier also If you can, mm, yes. If you are given such a question, especially if you are given que uh, questions regarding the extraction, dear children, you have to based on the lines given, right? Can you remember? I have told in the previous videos also, right? Dila thi na lines the kamata base when no na here. How does the poet consider Nile according to the lines given? Me dila thi na lines wale ta ano? Right, how much the Nile consider Karanne? Right, what is your answer? Shall we have a look? It dominates everything. Oh, chief of the pyramid and crocodile. La piyeta na kata kara putai dominant. Its dominant power, right? Its dominance capacity is discussed here. It dominates everything, and it is the sole base for everything. Eka ne kya ne? Ya ta mai hama deima. saralom ki word it receives the respect and it is considered as a holy and sacred object oh respect tamai ata labenne bohoma holy em nattan sacred object ekak vidihata ai metana salakan you are the sun etata mythical aspect ekak ud dila tiyena one deification haraha neda human world ekak chaithi kenek nevei sun of the all the moon mountains african chief of the pyramids and crocodile so that is the dominant power of the nile so that is how poet looks at the nile with these two lines okay five marks right i think it's an it's it will not be a problem anymore okay let's have a critical question right 2020 to the nile explores the similarities between the nile and other rivers discuss Mm-hmm. 2020 question ne kapute similarities between the nile and other rivers at the oh ne 
සෙස්ටෙට් එකට එනකොට මොනවාද කිව්වේ නේද ඔකේ ඔන් ඉන් ද ඔක්ටේව් වාට් ඉස් ඉට් දෙයා ටු ඇස්පෙක්ට්ස් ආ මෙන්ෂන්ඩ් වාට් ඉස් ඉට් ලෙජන්ඩරි ඕ මිතිකල් ඇස්පෙක්ට්ස් ඇන්ඩ් ද ඕඩිනරි ඇස්පෙක්ට්ස් ඇස් අදර් රිවර්ස් හරිද ඔය ආයි තින් අරව මේවා ඔක්කොම කරගෙන යනවා කියලා කියනවනේ ද නයිල් හැස් වෙනරේටඩ් ෆෝ බිල්ඩින් අප් දි ඒන්ෂන්ට් සිවිලයිසේෂන් ඔව් yeah nile valley civilization එක build up කරාට ඇත්තටම revered and sacred considered sacred okay the sacred and holy or divine qualities are attributed for its service so කොහොමත් පුතේ ආ ලෝකයේ දිගම ගංගාව වෙනකොට අනිත්ත ගංගා ගැන වලට වඩා ලොකු සේවයක් වෙලා තියෙනවනේ why not and sested dear children during the sested you have a lot to write it waters the vegetation along the river banks agree yes one other kiyanne green 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 repetition it fertiles the small islands small islands kiyane wa fertile karagena green isles too kiyala api kiyanne and it waters and it supplies water to the tributaries it creates romantic pictures of course yes why not with the sunshine and other waves flowers birds and all it adds beauty to the environment so those are the normal uses of a river so those all these uses are mentioned especially in the sestet and in the octave it is mentioned that reverent aspect or the mythical and divine qualities of the river nile so to the nile explores similarities between nile and other rivers of course yes discuss so you have to have an introduction and also the conclusion at the end and within the body paragraphs you can you can elaborate with your quotations right me uses of river nile along with the other rivers pute quotations aragena oppu karanda aspects dekak thiyenawa no sestet eke katha karanawa normal uses gena e wage ma octave eke so it is discussed the divine and legendary mythical aspect of the river nile so organize a very well answer and prove with your quotations and use a powerful language without errors and free from errors and you will have a good mark so don't don't be afraid of any kind of text dear children analyze it carefully right මේ හැම දෙයම ටීචර්ස්ලා කියලා දෙන හැම දෙයම එක්ක පුතේ ඔයගොල්ලන් ඔළුවට තියා ගන්න ඔළුවට ගන්න what should i do and get the me get the real meaning i mean the juice or the gist of the question and then with your own writing style go on writing have practice before you go for the exam okay dear children this is the last of the last minute of our video and session and don't forget to subscribe my channel the literature teacher and please do a comment please right it will be really encouraging and if you have any kind of questions dear children or else if you have any kind of suggestion teacher meka mehema karanang hondai hema nattang ogolang inte monawa hari question ekak teacher metana mata mokak hari explanation ekak denda teacher ilangata monawada api Karan, whatever you need to ask from me, you can leave a comment, dear children. And please share it with your friends and uh, touch on the like icon and share it and comment and subscribe my channel. Okay, dear children, wish you all the best and good luck.